Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another episode of Dead End here in City Skylines where today we're going to continue the expansions on Port Exporto as now we have the big beautiful highway running down. We have the little town built upon it. I want to now build the first ever ferry line in Dead End. It's going to go from Port Exporto and it's going to go across the river to where we have the beautiful fertilized land to where we'll eventually be able to go on to build a little farming industry. Now on this side of the river, we're also going to have an out of the region highway connection. Uh, it's going to be a long windy road that will eventually hook up to near where the prison is. But it's going to be so far out of the road, it's going to make so much sense to kind of get the ferry across. And it's also going to allow us to kind of transfer goods from one side of the river as well with the cargo ships. So as always, guys, if you are enjoying this and want to see more of Dead End in the future, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. But we are back. And uh, this is pretty much what we did last episode. Where are we? I've already lost my bearings. Where am I? There we go. There we go. Finally, we got there in the end, guys. We got there at the end. Uh, our beautiful town of Port Exporto. Uh, we're going to be building a, a ferry line over to this area. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm also going to build like a smallish town over here too. Nothing too big, nothing too large or vast. Just a, a small farming community that we can take advantage of all this greenery leading up to the uh, windy river. And that's where we're going to build our beautiful little farming industry. Now, to be able to import and export goods, we they, we are going to have an outside of the region connection where it's going to have a highway going all the way up, windy, you know, jazz, you know, the usual stuff. But we are also going to have a passenger line and a cargo line so they can kind of take it from there, either outside of the region if they're passenger or cargo, whatever, doesn't really matter. But they can also then get over to this side too from Port Exporter, which will allow them to get onto the train line which is going to be a little bit different from this side. Because if they want to transport the cargo via train, then they're going to have to ship it over to Port Exporto and then send it on its way. So it's going to be an interesting one. We'll see what kind of issues arise in the long run. But yeah, I'm quite excited. I am. So we kind of first need to then pick a couple of um, starting points and for the passenger line. That's what we'll start with first. So it makes sense because we have this kind of like a little bit of a flat surface there. If a road went around and we had that little passenger line here. And I could probably just connect it up to this little town here or bring it off one of these roads. So we can, can see them utilize this uh, beautiful bridge a little bit more. Ooh, there's some oil being exported right there. So into the shipping side of things. We need and we'll do the actual large ferry pier. And we'll go for this one. And I'll place you about there. It doesn't really matter because we can kind of move it anyway. Now, do I also do... That's a good question right now. Even though I haven't asked it. A harbour. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? If I had it in a harbour. Just down for the fact that... Bring passengers in from outside of the region. Ooh... Ooh, Sediac, you're getting fancy now, aren't you, boy? So add that in there. Now, it's perfect. It's perfectly all set up. I've just got to sort out the alignment of the heights. But I'll get the road just in here, then align both of these to alignment of that said road. Uh, right, don't worry about that road just yet. We are going to use this style of road anyway. And if I just kind of, at first, kind of go like that... So, I've got that aligned beautifully, as they say. So, select you, select you, uh, align to the object height of you. So, it's only really moving the harbour on that side. So, what I then do next then is use the touch it mud. Get rid of both of those. And then we upgrade the road that it's currently on to that style. So, we kind of get to keep it. And then we'll push this up. So it, the bend's going to happen quite close. So if I come back by five, four by three, we'll go with that. That's not that's not a problem. And then this here would happen just there. I mean, to be honest with you, I could actually... And I keep forgetting to get that UI mod. I do. Somebody needs to scream at me every episode until uh, I get it in. But if I connect these two bad boys up, 
uh, hold down shift, there we go, get a beautiful little bend, add that in, smack bang, perfection. Now I could try and do the same thing here, I wonder how this will turn out. So from there to there, a little bit too crazy, let's bring that in. Ooh. How are we looking here? I mean, it's gonna know it's gonna change innovation. That's fine. Oh, it actually looks really nice. I like in the uh, the natural stuff it's already kind of done. Do you know what? I love that mud. I honestly love that mud right now. So that's all in. I know for the ferries that we're gonna need a, uh, a depot. I know that anyway. So maybe I should have. Uh, I should have squeezed that in, shouldn't I, really, to be honest with you. Uh, ferry depot, which is one of these, which only really needs to go in kind of here. Space already occupied, but if I kind of any key it in real quick, I can then use the touch it mod if it will still allow me to untouch it to, then to delete it, and then we should be A-OK. -okay. Simple, mate. Very, very simple. So, let's get the, the basic needs set up for this then. So, we've got the water down. Just there. It's going to need power. Now, my options are... Car parking. Which I think that's the way I'm going to go about doing it. Just so any of the workers that want to like work here or whatever... Have a little bit of parking to kind of get over to this side. And I'm going to slightly push this little wall back as well. So... Up the brush size ever so slightly and just push it back in like little areas and then try and make it not look unnatural in that sense so it's kind of like there's a bit you know it, it's it's all organized really isn't it is the way we're going with it and then smoothen a bit out there so where it kind of ends we'll smoothen where it begins we'll kind of smoothen there we go. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but end of the day, it all kind of works. So at some point, we might start seeing the cruise ships then arriving. Do you know what? This is really annoying me. What if I come to the back here? There we go. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, we might start seeing cruise ships arriving with people getting on board. So at this point then, you will be thinking, we're going to have to start thinking about a passenger line. We really are down here. And we'll probably get to it at some point. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But bringing people in here, it only makes sense to have some kind of a passenger line. So I might set up like some kind of terminal bases or, or whatever. Or have the passenger line a little bit further up and we do a little bus route from there up to like a passenger line over here. That might be the better option for us. But again, we'll just kind of see how things uh, progress. So got those over that side of the, uh, the river right now. So over here we need to pick a point. Now, I think this here, this is already kind of perfectly set up for kind of what we need. The water is no longer fast flowing at this point. It's kind of pretty calm. The fast flowing stuff kind of leads out to there. So you're already kind of naturally covered. The entry of the waterway just there. I think that's the way to kind of go. I think it is. So we only need, we only need the cargo hub and the ferry pier system thing. So if I put the, the cargo hub, let's say, for example, um, here. And we do the ferry the ferry pier over on this side. Let's see, how, how, how do I feel about this? Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'll have it. No, no, do you know what? No. Move that over to there. Relocate you to here. Reason for it is I can make the train line come off and then lead around and then go up. Whereas this, I can have it more centralized to where we can technically go on to build some type of a town. So if I do it like that, and if I use the touch it mod all over again. There we go. Upgrade it to this style of road because for now it's just going to be a very quiet place it really is so connection we get it all set up right now so add as much as i can nice little beautiful bend going around and if i select all of it bar the trees 
and then we align it to the object height of this anyway. So it drops that down a bit. So everything's all the same height. All right, good stuff. We got a beautiful little start. Right. So we're pretty much good to go. We can now make Ferris uh, cross over. We're going to have our first crossing all set up. Uh, but I want to create and think about doing the highway leading out anyway. So we've also got like a road connection. Now, it's probably going to come from like about here in. But I want to make it go all the way up to around about here. So we can create the connection. Then we've got more of a reason for, you know, this road being so bulky as we'll have traffic kind of tearing through it. Now, to get over to this point, I first got to cross the river. Now, I think a good little point would be here. Because to have how elevated it is. I don't think we'll have boats running up. You never know. You never know if I can have fishing boats running up there. You just don't know. But that'll be a nice little point just there. So we'll get the highway up and running right now. And we want to create it as a bridge. So if I picked... Well, actually, let me just kind of go like a normal style first. So if I go across to there. And if I bridged it over. Now, are we going to have the same issues as before? You know where, like, you get so, so high up and then it just decides, nah, not having it. So let me bring it right to the edge. I'll go to about 12. Bridge it over. Well, it doesn't really matter because I can kind of like literally bridge it over like this and then align it all to be the same height. So if I did that, and if I selected all of this to there, and then align to object height of view. Ooh, that's actually quite... Well, I say it's quite high, but... Yeah, it is quite high, isn't it? All right, if I zero it down here... I'm not sure which way it's going to be heading. But then if I... Um, and I, I found that last episode as well, how I can do the uh, a better form of sloping it, aligning it. So if I select to you, then you kind of get all the way down to here... And it's um, control space click and then enter. That kind of then dig, like kind of goes down nicely. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? It looks so good. I'm so impressed, guys. I'm so impressed right there. So, okay. So my options are to even make it bend down this way or bridge off there or bend down this way. I think I'll make it kind of bend down to the to the left in a way so if i then pick a for example road that came out in that direction is it a bit too much to ask for this connection to happen am i asking for too much you reckon i might be asking for too much yeah. So, right, what we'll do is I'll push that straight to there, and then we'll do it in stages like this instead. So, from here to here, there we go. It has elevated, but we'll kind of sort out all the, um, the drops anyway. Then from here to here, Bam. And what I'll do is I'm, I'll force it to all be stuck to the ground. There we go. And then what I'll do then is then I'll force the elevation. So back to this. If I select there, and it was, it was control, space, click, enter, and it does that. And then it's a very just natural you know decline going all the way down and we'll terraform the rest so at least that's somewhat then it kind of follows the natural run of the uh the land not perfectly because obviously there's a big couple of changes but it allows me now to kind of bulk this out and 
Bring that brush size down again. Smoothing all this out. So we can kind of make it look natural, is what I'm trying to say. So we'll do what we can with the smoothing him. And then I think we'll kind of ever so often bulk this out like that. And that's where the smoothing then comes into play. So he doesn't like the road forced the hill. It looks like, you know, the road is then built to the hill. If that makes sense. Just want to get this side over here now set up a bit more. And so there. There we go. Easy peasy, boys. Easy peasy. Just down here. And hopefully it looks very natural. You wouldn't even notice, would you, boys? You wouldn't even notice the, the simplicity of this road. So I know now we've got to create an outside connection, but this modded version of it on the next extension mod cannot be an outside connection. So you have to go for the one... Uh, that you get with the game, and then this one's from the, the Mass Transit DLC, which is going to work just fine. So if I just do an outside collection, for example, just here, wonderful, it works. I don't know how it's going to work with two different styles of road, but I just want it simple, basic, and effective. So yeah, it does kind of change, but then, just for the argument's sake, I'll uh, upgrade this to there so it kind of keeps the same style so now we have an outside the road connection it goes a little bit funky but again it follows the elevation of the land and across it goes sweet mate so then i need to make here and i'll probably i will do it here i will do it here if i then bring a road going up so in reality, you're going to want to stick around about there. You are going to want to stick around about, but there's not going to be too much traffic to begin with. So it will be just kind of interesting to see what comes from this. Now, got to, I mean, we are going to build a smallish town. We'll probably build it around here. But we also need uh, a stronger, dedicated road leading out. Now, the elevation changes of this land in general, what are they like? Where's my terrain tool? There we go, terrain heights. So, you're probably looking at going back there just because of how much setback that little section is there. So the gradient is a lot smoother going this way rather than it's more sharp going on that way. If I can kind of get it bang on. So we'll do it like this. So if I come out by 30... And it'll probably end up being a roundabout or something there. I, I don't know because it's going to be interesting. It, there's going to be like two connections into the area. So let me let me try it. Let me just see what happens now, right now because this I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. So from that side, from there. So again, it's going mental. Now we have to we have to kind of bring in a little bit of a middleman, aren't we? So, right, that's going to kind of bend up this way. So, actually, to be honest with you, what I'll do is I'm going to bring the road up to here. I'm going to try and naturally follow this for a minute. And then if I... I'm follow I just want to follow it all around. I just want to have these little, nice little pockets leading around in areas. And then we'll be able to get everything then connected. So we'll start from here to here. Which will be like that. But obviously we can make it a little bit better. From here to here. Now I'll push it back a bit. There we go. Nice little hairpin. And then, of course, then from here to here. Bend that around beautifully. So, again, we're kind of somewhat following the elevation changes, the sculpture of the land. And also, rather than having a straight line, bends and is like, you know, sprawl off there, sprawl off here, uh, and so on and so on. But most importantly, here then, it allows me to bypass, not having to bring the residential traffic down to here to bring it into the little town just there. We can have a little bypass route kind of leading in. 
which again eventually we might see a roundabout on it so that's all looking good i just want to do a little bit of touch up right now with the uh with the terrain just in little areas where we have kind of caused some movement to the land there we go smoothing all that off and yeah really doing this here as well so i'm actually increased the brush size trying to push this uh, mountain back a bit just take the edge off so yeah we'll go with that for now we'll go with that for now so this road here is going to bend up which will i won't say lead up to here i don't want this town to be huge but again at some point or in some way i always kind of seem to make things huge in general anyway so let's say that highway then pretty much ends and we kind of go into this style of road so if i brought it down to here and then came out by i mean i'll come out by five. Oh, well, that whole thing has been minus Normal height, please. So, yeah, I'll come up by five here. So, I can then. Well, bam, well, bam. More of a decent turn in. And then. So, if I come out by ten there. Come out by 10. And then we'll just kind of build a very, very small generic town. Uh, but of course, I am wanting to borderline do something with this. So on that road here to kind of run around. So if I chose to there... So let me see if I can get a connection here. I've got an idea in my head of how I want it to play out. It's just getting it to play out how I want it to. So, can we not go any more than that? Is this how it is, guys? Right, let me try now. Really? Won't go any more? Right, this will be a funky if this connection works. No, it's saying it won't, but I should be able to get this in first. And then I delete this back, and, then, and rather than doing the 10, we'll do 5. Even that won't do it. Okay. That's got to be a connection, guys. Come on. Right, hold on. Oh, wait. What have I been doing? Oh, I've been creating loop mode. How long have I been doing loop mode for? Don't want to talk about it. Okay, I don't want to talk about it, guys. <laughs> I've been doing loot mode and everything. If I have, that's hilarious. Um, do you know what? I, d I did like it with a little bit of a uh, straightness. There we go. So, that's as big as the town's going to be. I've done the outer road there, which will lead out to other stuff. We've got some organization on the go just here. But this is pretty much the town in question. I did say I wasn't going to build a big town, but look at me now. Look at me now, guys. I'm building the biggest. 
So, nine. Oh, it's an eight, isn't it? Eight. By eight. So, there's organization, and then there's chaos. And then that's as far as I'll pretty much take it. I'll bring some roads down here as well to integrate this more into the area. But you see how it all kind of works. As of right now, we're going to have an outside connection. But then i got to figure out how I want this to run all the way through the mountains and further up the road. But let's just get this kind of set up uh, to the point where potentially we've got people moving in. will be a good one. We'll go for a little bit of a water tower, place it up to more towards the top of the hill. And we've also got to look at doing sewage and stuff, haven't we? So bring that down to here. Straight across. Straight across. To there. There. And there. And the Karens are going to hate me. But for now, we're going to have to do some pollution. So I'll drop it over here. Which means it is going to sail down this river. Which is not good. But until we've got a better system set up, a better plan or something on the go. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. So there we go. There is a beautiful little cruise ship on the way right now. Bringing in 49 passengers. There's going to be lots of tourists heading in. Which uh, is why we need to get the passenger train line up and running. But this will be interesting anyway. This is a good little start. Right, anyway, so we need power right now. So what I'll do is we'll get set up some wind turbines to harness the power of the wind. All right, I'll do a couple up here. It's only five megawatts, but we'll take it. i do one two just there and we'll do a little commercial strip just here and then i'll do a residential strip just there we're gonna have i mean we have another commercial strip on the opposite side of that road here anyway but i won't get it in just yet a bit of residential there a bit of residential here you know what, i might as well paint all this residential I don't know how the rest of it's going to kind of go around. So I'll just leave it blank for now. I'll have a bit there. And up to there. So that should be enough for the amount of commercial that we have got here. We are going to crisscross the two electrical grids. So bring that one out to there. That one can run up to here. Oh, I just realized I've actually just killed off all that zoning I did. Yep, got to rezone it. And we'll, for now, just do this. Down to there. And hopefully by the time all this grows, it's going to be all connected. Now, we'll quickly get some of these. Oh, do you know what? I might just get like another road or two in. Just for the sake of being able to get the... Um, the... Uh, services and whatnot so if i picked a point um right if i pick say this point here 10 by 10 and then down again we still keep into the grid fashion now i wonder if i'm able to go from there to there what kind of I mean, that should be fine, right? And then, is that... That's the 10 mark here. I mean, that's asking for trouble. We're asking for trouble with that one. All right, bring that down. Mm. All right, we'll go with that. Again... Kind of keeps it somewhat together, but it kind of doesn't. And then we'll do a connection across here. 
So it all feels intertwined. I can build like a small little park of some kind just there. But the main point of that was then is I can get some of these buildings then in. So I can do like the the health center or the clinic just there. The fire department we could have, for example, just here. Uh, policing I could have just there. Uh, we need a little bit of death care, which I'll throw. Uh, for now, I'll just kind of throw just over here. And then we'll have a school in as well. Little school there. Near eventually where we're going to have the park. And then obviously we do need a little bit of garbage needs handling. Eventually when it's the, kind of the roads all connected up, then they can share the services with everybody else. But I think a small little recycling plant wouldn't go amiss. So I'll just drop that there for now. It's a placeholder plant. It's a bit of a placeholder plant right now, but we'll see how it goes. Just get them connected here. Might as well do it like this. And everybody should be happy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, guys. A little bit of character on the go over here right now. Do you think I should... Can I centralize this without the roads moving? Hold on. No, the roads are connected to it. That's fine. Um, but a little bit of character going on. It ain't going to be a huge town. It's going to be what you see there. But the whole farming industry we're going to have right now, the, predominantly the workers are going to come from this. But you know how it happens, guys. I need a name suggestion for this place right now. I really do. So let me know in the comment section right now what we should potentially call this place. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, looking pretty good. Now it's time to get the connections up and a running. So, shipping, we've got to do the ferry pathway. Now, what I'll do is I'll come from here and we'll try and follow the shipping route. So, if I came down by, say, 20 here... And then we'll get all these connected. So we'll come to there. 12. 9. 12 by 12 on the old bend of Rooney. There we go. That one will just connect straight like that. They're all then technically connected. So I'll run a, a line down here for now. Which will do a 17 by 17 bend and connect in. And then here's going to be a little bit of fun. So we'll go for the bend just there. We'll run it up because obviously we're following the shipping line to a certain degree. 15 by 15 and then we'll just do a, a dedicated connection like that and that pretty much hooks us all the way up that pretty much does so we want to get a little bit of a ferry line on the go so from from here to over here i don't know if we'll have eventually other ferry lines and other areas of this place i don't know i can't tell you how that's going to run but I want to make sure there's only one vehicle on this, or I say one vehicle, one ship on this, because we're not going to have huge demands to begin with. We're really not. So that one should then go back into the depot. But that should be the best. Oh, actually, we just had a little ship coming from here. So that's owner Lakewood going to Cargo Hub. Nice. All right, pretty good. We've actually got people moving in. Anybody walking about yet? We got any walkers, boys? Any walkers? I don't see anybody yet. Has anybody even... Oh, yeah, there's actually vehicles using the edge of the region right now, which is good to see. But there's not really anything to do just yet, is there? There really isn't. So I pose at the minute, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah.
little commercial vehicle. No residential vehicles yet. No residential vehicles yet. I mean, there's one there. He's in the building, boys. He's in the building. Unless, there, unless because... Oh, I don't know. I don't know where they're all coming from. But <coughs> this area is now all set up. It's all set up. It's all good to go. We're all ready to pretty much rock and roll with it. And I'm really happy with it. So, again, just like when we got this area set up here, it then may, it gives the ability to then build this. By building this, it then gives the ability to have a connection to all of this over there. And once we've connected over to there, we can pretty much reach any part of the map right now, which is really exciting. So I'm excited for this. I hope you guys too are as well. Uh, let me know what you think I should do with this area a little bit more. I know we definitely can have a farming industry. Give me some name sessions for the area in general. But guys, until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good bye.